Hello there, Eronar here, and today we are going to review Nariko's faction after the rework in the 19 update of the extended factions mod. Finally we can play Ajax Lesser. And let me tell you about this uh, hero. He might have a less uh, defense, but finally a melee hero can use this Cheat of Hades ability to be faster and more defensive. You can maneuver him and boost you can boost his speed even more. And another funny ability is to force enemy to attack you. This is very good to pulling enemies out of the position. I believe this hero is going to be very funny to play. May, you may you might be annoying, you might not be as good as hero duelist, but uh, you are going to have fun anyway. Okay, let's have a look on his early game roster. We are starting with Militia. Militia is um, cheap fodder, usually they die very quickly and I don't recommend them. Spears. Spearmen are standard frontline, usually not performing good enough, but they are able to hold, hold the ground, that is their only job. With Locrian Brigands, uh, they are having slightly less defense. They are performing similarly to Spearmen, but you have two very good things about them. First is Battlefield Healing. So, them being weaker is compensated by healing up. You need to switch uh, this frontline with another unit in the reserves. And the poor weapon and stats, you can um, you can go with shields on back. Now they have quite good charge, pretty good weapon, good, very good speed and attack. You can use them as chargers or flankers. So this unit might seems to be weaker, but it's, it's versatile, mobile and you should heal up. Next we have the Locrian Riders, who are pretty good chargers and uh, if you use two or more of them, their Furious Charge will drop enemy defense and even morale down. You are going to quickly win battles because of the Furious Charge. So these are very good chargers. Then we have Locrian Bandits. These bandits are invisible because of the stalk. Only in close range they will be shown to enemies. You can do nice backdooring or flanking with them. Uh, these guys are the core of the Narikos roster. From Watchtower we can use also Light Swordsmen, these are dedicated flankers. Um, they are not invisible, but you need to use their flank thinking attack improved. Uh, what else do we have here? We have good old Akian Slingers, expendable, good range, uh, very efficient and you are going to use them in every battle. Maybe, maybe not with this faction, because these guys are almost like Ekean slings. They might not have enough ammunition, but this is the first sling unit which is having stalk. And this is a big deal. Sling with stalk uh, is not just for backdooring or flanking. You can duel enemy missiles uh, without them expecting you. Because if they can't see you, they will not prepare. Of course, if when you are attacking or shooting, they are visible, but 
You can anytime just stop, move them back and if they are far enough they will be invisible again and you bring them back and start shooting again. So you will have a lot of fun with these slingers. And last uh, early game unit are skirmishers. These guys have very good javelins and a lot of models. They deal a lot of damage especially against armored units. So these are these are very good javelins. Now let's move to the mid game. Mid tier units. We get Locrian's spearmen. They are just like the shielded spearmen from other Achaean factions. They can heal up and you use 200 milli mod. They have very comparable stats and they are solid a replacement for this standard frontline. They have slightly different stats, otherwise they are kind of same. For the chargers we have Locrian clubmen. These guys also can be deployed one in forward thanks to one card and you are going to use Furious Charge to win battles quite quickly. Next we have Club Warriors. Oh, these guys are very good flankers and kill line. They perform very well. They have pretty good stats, not just javelins. Uh, you are going to use this in many campaigns or even multiplayer battles. Alternatively, uh, you should try out these Locrian bandit leaders. These these guys are fast and stalk. They are very good flankers. Uh, in order to be very good flanker, you need to be fast. You need you need to have flank attack improved, and if you have stalk. You will, have, you will have very easy time uh, flanking your opponents. So this is the core unit of the Narikos and you are going to use them. For missiles we got the Locrian Veteran Slingers. They have a lot of range, 180 and ok mid tier damage output. Their stall ability is making them very valuable. At, because imagine you are at the range of 180, you are quite far away. Enemy cannot see you because of the stalk. Uh, when you start shooting you are going to be visible. But again, you can stop shooting, go slightly back. You are going to be invisible because of stalk. And then you can come back and start shooting and opponent will be surprised like why I was why I'm not shooting this down. And next we have bowmen from the Boyer building. I do not recommend using these. They have terrible stats and the building is good only for the ammunition on recruitment so uh, you are going to use slings instead. For chariots, uh, we got melee chariots, good Achaean, uh, medium chariots, pretty good. Combine them with your club chargers. Maybe you can try some skirmishing. Uh, that's not my recommendation, nor the playstyle. Uh, but you can try this guy. Uh, these guys out. Together with your stall units you can do some nice surprises in your battles. Now let's move to the late game. As late game frontline we have the companions of lesser Ajax. These are solid standard frontline. Uh, nothing too powerful and their stats has been also balanced out to be a uh, good, good frontline. But because of their charge, you can use them offensively quite well. Good charge, good weapon, especially against uh, not so armored units. 
good speed and attack. And then you can heal up after you have won the charging duel. I think these guys are flexible and good. Maybe combine them with these chargers with 50 attack, 38 charges a lot. Enemy will drop he, their defense down because of the Furious Charge. These guys are going to deal a lot of damage, uh, deal, uh, deal with enemies, and you can use them for some ambush deployment as well. So, you are kind of similar to Itaka, but with clubs instead of spears. And now the best unit for this faction, Locrian Swordmasters. These are similar to Warriors of Ithaca. They have amazing attack defense, uh, very strong weapon, especially against spears. Uh, and everybody is afraid of them because of their stalk flanking attack. These guys are very scary, very good, and you will use them for sure. Oh, yes, we also have the armored slings, slightly better slingers than the previous ones. Um, they also have stalk. You are going to use them in the way that I have described you before. And they are very good at skirmishing enemy missiles. So, and very last, we got the reinforced chariots. Uh, this faction is having heavy chariots, that's very good. You can ha have them in multiplayer battles uh, to be competitive and you will do well, very well. So, how would you play this uh, faction? You can try the standard formation like you're having frontline and some slings behind. Maybe you can vanguard deploy your chargers. But I would I would stop you right here and use this combination of these swords and slings together. These guys are invisible. So together uh, they you can build army around these guys and you can bring these from reserves. Or maybe show some front line to enemy think, oh, you are somewhere here. But you are going to flank around and ambush like crazy with this faction. So, you can play this as Itaka. You can play it as standard faction. You got, you got some front line. Oh, this is a fast front line. Okay, never mind. It don't use this. Don't use this as a frontline faction, but as a charging ambush faction. Yeah, this is going to be very funny in battles. So, I hope you will have a lot of fun with this, and that is all. See you later.